Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I have procrastinated filming this, but we are going to be doing an updated vinyl record collection and Miss Olivia May, my Siamese cat, is here with us so she may pop up. So basically, if you're new, hi, my name is Kyla. This is primarily a channel where I share my collections, mainly dolls, but I do also have a substantially large vinyl record collection which we're going to be covering today and i do have quite the large um dvd collection but i've never actually shared that because i don't really think you guys care but anyway um here's miss olivia say hi so anywho um when you collect as many things as i do some collections kind of have to take a back seat and vinyl is definitely my second prioritized type of collecting thing um dolls definitely being the first but I think last time, I can't remember, I think I filmed this in March, so it is now November. So I did get quite a few new records. Some of these were gifts, some of these, most of them I have paid for with my own money, but some of them were actually gifts. So I'm gonna go through kind of the ones that I've had for a while. I don't really wanna spend too, too much time on this. My collection has changed. I have put some of them, like the super old ones that I don't technically spin, that I kind of share with my dad. I kind of put those into storage so I actually don't like have those out because I didn't need them taking up space on the vinyl shelf. So the cat has assumed her position on my lap and that means it's time to go. So I'm going to start with the artist who I only have one record from and then we'll go from there kind of like building up to the artist that I have the biggest collection from and if you know me you know who that is. So. First off, we have Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. This I got from Walmart. It is the clear pressing. I was under the impression this was gonna be like super difficult to get and it actually was not. So this, because every time I go back to Walmart, I still see this. So this actually came out, I think 97, so the year I was born. I stole this CD from my mom, I think when I was about 10 years old. Don't ask me why, but this is my favorite Alanis Morissette album. And I think my favorite song on this, not to be like super like stereotypical and generic, but it, it it is you want to know like I mean you guys that is an absolute like it's an incredible song so next we have Carly Pierce 29 I've actually seen her I saw her when she opened for Jason Aldean and I think 2019 this came from Target so it is green and my favorite song on here actually is Diamondback so it's literally the opening track and I love Carly, she's incredible. This is Carol King Tapestry. It's just a standard black pressing. This actually I inherited from my neighbors who I bought my house from. So I was left with an entire box of records, most of which I do not spin, but I do spin this. I love this. And my favorite song on this is I Feel the Earth Move. Like I, when I found this in the box, I was like, shut your mouth because I see this all the time when I go shopping, but that is like the original vinyl pressing. And I was like, holy crap. Next, I can't remember if I showed you guys this one or not, but this is Christina Aguilera Stripped. I want to build my Xtina collection so freaking bad. This is my favorite album of hers. Um, I can't pick a favorite song on here, so I'm going to tell you that Get Mine, Get Yours and Walk Away are absolute masterpieces, and I love this album so much. I can't remember if I showed you the back, but it's just standard black. I bought this on Mercari, actually. It was brand new, but it was, it was for pretty much retail price. This is the Dirty Dancing soundtrack purple i got it from walmart my favorite song on here is probably she's like the wind um this is my second favorite movie of all time because we'll get to my favorite movie of all time in a minute because i do have that soundtrack this is genesis my uncle bought this for me right before we all went to see the genesis concert last year um, if you guys remember that was a big thing i also convinced my adult family to take me to american girl and i got my 61 so um that was a fun time my favorite song on here is Home by the Sea. This is my favorite movie of all time, Grease, Standard Black. I found this at a flea market when we were on vacation in Florida. There was like this massive booth of records and I could not look through the whole thing, but my mom saw this. My parents bought this for me um, as like a, I don't know, the vacation present. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, that was awesome. Next we have Heart and it is the special Valentine's Day pressing. So this, my best friend and I, I actually found it. And I was like, okay, they're selling this. We got to get it. So we each got it and we found it from some like really random record store. I can't remember. Sorry. Like my hair, these sleeves that I have them in, my sleeves are all from Amazon, by the way. Um, they make me like, they make my hair super staticky. So I do apologize. But um, 
we each bought this record and it skips in the same exact place so i'm not quite sure like what the problem is it makes me really sad because i was like what's wrong with mine and then she was like is your heart record skipping and i was like oh no so that kind of sucks but my favorite song i'm here is what about love i know that that's probably like a super unpopular opinion but that's been my favorite heart song for so long next we have the walmart exclusive of kelsey ballerini's kelsey and it is this green color i don't really like green is my least favorite color but um I still am a bad fan. I still haven't listened to her new album yet, so I'm sorry, girl. Um, but my favorite song on here is The Other Girl, obviously, because it's a duet with Halsey, who I have some of. You guys will see later. So we have the Target exclusive pressing of Sour by Olivia Rodrigo. My favorite song on here is Brutal. I don't really listen to this anymore. I don't know why. It just kind of feels like I bought it because, like, this was a good album at the time, but I don't, from my personal opinion and taste, I don't think it's aged well. So I don't know. I've, I think I've only spun this like once. Maybe, maybe I've never actually spun that. I'm not quite sure. Um, next. Okay. I was super proud of this. So this is PCD by the Pussycat Dolls and it is purple. There's only like 500 of this pressing. And I think I found this on Mercari for like 50 bucks and I was like, I need. So this album, like I had to ask my mom's permission before I bought this on iTunes because when I was a kid, like when I was in third grade, this album came out and my favorite song was Buttons. Okay. I didn't know what that meant. It's still my favorite song on the album, but I loved that song. And my mom was like, no, you cannot listen to that anymore. My one complaint about this album is it's not the Snoop Dogg version of Buttons. And that kind of makes me sad, but it's okay. Every single song on this album is amazing. Next, we have Slater's Troubled Paradise. This was the Walmart clear pressing, I think. Mm, I don't know. Um, so this album, actually, I found through TikTok. And I'm not like typically a fan of this type of music but I'm gonna tell you guys right now the way my because I use Apple Music the way my top 100 songs of the year is looking right now Troubled Paradise is my number one song of the year and I did specifically buy this album so I could um, listen to the bridge of Troubled Paradise on vinyl and this is amazing. I did not expect to find that in stores. That's the only Slater album I have. I would really like the other one, but that one's like super freaking difficult to get. This is a new one I know you guys have not seen before. This is Florence and the Machine. This is my only Florence album because I would really, really like a couple more, but they're like super difficult to find. I found this on Walmart or at Walmart. I did overpay for it because I paid like the $40 and I didn't love it that much at the time. I really have to go back and re-listen to it because it's I think it's my second favorite Florence album but my favorite song on it is Daffodil and this is an incredible album she is she is phenomenal and I'm so glad I you know discovered her this year a lot of artists I have were discovered this year I really like got into discovering different types of music and stuff this year next we have Kehlani it was good until it wasn't this is from Target it's just black I wanted the Urban Outfitters pressing but by the time I got that or I got because I bought this and a couple others with a gift card I got for my grandparents for Christmas and it was already gone. This is my favorite Kehlani album. I need to get the rest of her albums on vinyl because I love them and I have had the chance to do so. I just kind of didn't have the money at the time. So I love this album. Like there's not a bad song on here. And my favorite song I think is probably so i am having a literal brain fart right now and my favorite song on here is either bad news or can you blame me i think that's what it's called if it's not i'm a terrible fan please do not attack me in the comments oh my god i can hear it in my head and i know but i mm. and we have melanie martinez k through 12 and i think i might actually go get the crybaby deluxe that hopefully it's still available on her um web store it's pink this has my favorite fold of this has my favorite fold of any record i own um my favorite song on here extremely controversial opinion it is teacher's pet um i it is singles day as i'm filming this actually so that gingerbread man single is very very tempting but i don't purchase singles so that kind of sucks but it's okay next we have another artist i discovered i think end of last year and this is banks you guys have seen this one so many times this is banks three i still don't have her most recent album i do want to get it i just haven't yet my favorite song on here is look what you're doing to me that really was when i was like yes this artist knows like what is up and i would really like to get the rest of the bank's discography on vinyl but it's really really hard 
Next, we've got Plastic Hearts by Miley. I freaking love this album, just Standard Black. And I feel like Standard Black actually fits this album really, really well. Um, Hot Pink would have been cool too, but this is, I love this Miley right here. Absolutely incredible. I grew up with Miley and I wasn't quite sure what to expect because I really wasn't a fan of like, okay, I liked Bangers, but it was not my favorite. And I gave the Miley Cyrus and her dead pets a chance and it, sorry. Um, but this, I went into it not knowing what to expect and it literally blew my mind. My favorite song on here is the title track, Plastic Hearts, but seriously, I feel like the first half of the album is so freaking strong and then the second half is really good as well, but just the first half just absolutely like night crawling, um, the duet with Dua, WTF do I know, like just everything. Um, it's a great, great album. And coincidentally, the last solo album I have from an artist is Hailstorms Back from the Dead. And this is the red pressing. And I am wearing, I don't know if you guys can tell it's my hair. There's probably my hair and Olivia hair on this, but this is the Hailstorm Back from the Dead tour shirt. I did buy this when I went to see them in concert. This band puts on an incredible show. Like Lizzie Hale is a freaking genius. So I love this album. It might be my favorite Hailstorm album. I'm not quite sure. And I think my favorite song on it is probably Strange Girl, but that is subject to change, honestly, because I freaking love Hailstorm and I need to get the rest of their discography as well. So next we're going to move into artists who I have two or more records of. This is in no particular order. This is Thank You Next by Ariana. This is just a black pressing. I got this from Amazon. My favorite song on here is Needy. Ariana, you guys know, if like Taylor Swift didn't exist, Ariana would be my favorite, so I... This was one of my first records along with Sweetener. I also got Sweetener on Amazon, so it's just standard black. My favorite song on here, not to be too generic, but it is God is a Woman. This album came out at a really crucial point in my life, um, 2018. Those of you who have been here, um, you guys know that that was um, a really trying year for me. And some albums I can't, like specific songs I can't listen to because it reminds me of that time period. I will say I don't listen to Sweetener as much because it reminds me of that time, but not in a bad way. Like Sweetener definitely did help me during um, my mental health struggles. And my most recent Ariana album is Positions. No, it's not the deluxe. I wish it was, but this is from Target. I think it's Skull in the Dark. I can't remember. But um, this Target actually freaking delivered to me in like some envelope and the corners of the um, jacket were damaged. So that was like really unfortunate. And my favorite song on here, I'm totally going to um, expose myself for this. It is 3435, so. Next, we've got Carrie Underwood's Greatest Hits, and I got this from Walmart. It is gray, pretty much. I don't know what my favorite song on here is because this is like all her greatest hits, and like, I didn't expect to buy this, and I did, and it was super awesome. Actually, the corner of this jacket was damaged too, um, but I love her. I grew up with her. She's amazing, and I still, yes, I still need to get Denim and Rhinestones. I actually almost ordered it when it came out but then i just completely forgot but that was an incredible album and i just that is probably my favorite carrie underwood album uh, with my second favorite being cry pretty and this is pink pressing i got this from amazon as well and my favorite song on here is backsliding um i actually own so the first four albums of hers no her first five albums i actually own on cd and then I have Cry Pretty on vinyl, and then I need to get um, Denim and Rhinestones, like I said. But I would like to own the rest of Carrie's discography on vinyl just because I don't spin my CDs. Okay, so next we have quite a large collection. Um, no, it's not Taylor. I'm saving Taylor for the end. So um, Mariah Carey, Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel. I got this from Target. It's just black. Um, I used, I got a... Okay, so when I was, I think I was in eighth grade when this came out, I got an iTunes gift card for Christmas and I used it on this entire album because I love this album. My favorite song on it is The Impossible and of course the reprise as well. But you guys, you don't understand, MC is like a huge part of my childhood growing up just as much as like Taylor and Ariana and Carrie Underwood. Like MC is like fantastic and I love her so freaking much. This is Me, I Am Mariah. I got this from my local FYE and it is just standard black pressing. I know this is a controversial Mariah Carey album, which kind of sucks because this is a great album. Is it her best? No, but it's, I really like it. And I really liked it when it came out. It came out the year I graduated. So I remember like 
I was in art class listening to this the day it came out. So I think my favorite song on here is probably, oh God, um, Make It Look Good. I know that's like a really random choice, but that has been one that's stuck with me for a while. I do really like um, the George Michael cover as well. So she just, it's a great album. Dedicated, Dedicated's good too. Okay, so this, I just... I just knocked someone over. I just realized that the sleeve in this is ripped, so I'm gonna have to get her a new one. But this is The Emancipation of Mimi. This came out, I think, when I was eight years old, and this is the, like, um, super deluxe platinum edition or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I bought this version specifically because it has Secret Love and Sprung on it. But my favorite song is still We Belong Together because that was the very first time I remember being like, this is my favorite song and I want to listen to it like all the time. So this album, incredible. This is Mariah at her best. Another album that I don't think has a bad song at all is E equals MC squared. This is just a standard black pressing. I kind of wanted the purple one, but this one came from Target and they didn't have the purple one. So um, anyway, this was right after The Emancipation and I, there's not a bad song on this one either. I know a lot of people prefer The Emancipation over this one. I do too, but this one, this is a fantastic album. My favorite song on here is, oh God, I'm like running through it in my head. I think it's Love Story, but you know, all these are just subject to change. I wanted to do something different than instead of just being like, okay, this is the album I got it here. I wanted to tell you guys like what my favorite song is. Okay, so this is Charm Bracelet, and I got this with Me, I Am Mariah at FYE. I definitely overpaid for this one, but this album is really beautiful. My favorite song on here is Subtle Invitation. Um, this is a great album. It is very, very underrated, and it does not get, like, the credit and love it deserves. So, come on, Lamely. Like, Charm Bracelet is phenomenal. Okay, so now we're coming to an artist that is the reason I collect vinyl, and that is Stevie Nicks. If you guys don't know... Um, during my really difficult mental health year, I was kind of like super struggling and I have a whole video on that if you are interested. But anyway, this is important. Discovering, like rediscovering Stevie Nicks as an artist and Fleetwood Mac, I decided that I wanted to buy a record player and buy records. And so I bought a record player and this was the first record I bought and it is Stevie Nicks Crystal Visions, Standard Black. This is my oldest record. This is my most spun record. It's a miracle the thing is still in good shape, but this thing's been through a lot with me. Um, I love it. My favorite song on here will always and forever be Stand Back because that's like my favorite Stevie Nicks song of all time. Um, I just, it's, this is a very, very important and sentimental album to me. So I own that Stevie album. And then the only other Stevie album I own is this one and it is from Walmart, but it's not the big one, okay? Because there's one that comes with like six different discs, I believe. This one only has two. And again, I'm just gonna say my favorite song on here is Stand Back because it's one of her like, it's another like greatest hits one and it's, that's like the title track. But this is awesome. I absolutely love her greatest hits compilations. Yes, they're kind of like the same albums, but like some has other things that the other one doesn't. So next we have another artist that I really discovered last year and became ridiculously obsessed with. So we have Chemtrails Over the Country Club by Lana Del Rey. This is the Record Store Day Black Friday blue pressing with the alternate cover. This is my favorite cover. No, this is not my favorite Lana album. It's somewhere... I don't have all the Lana albums. I'm missing three. Okay, well, if you include AKA, I'm missing four. But um, my favorite song on here is Tulsa Jesus Freak. Then we have NFR, Just Standard Black. I wanted the pink one, but I will not pay the price. Um, My favorite song on here is F It, I Love You. And that's my favorite Lana Del Rey song of all time. This genius album. I love this album. Perfection. Um, it's not my favorite Lana album because that one's actually next, but that's a pretty darn good album. <sighs> Ultraviolence. I bought this on eBay. I paid 50 bucks for it. I definitely did overpay because now it's like back in stock for regular retail price on some websites. I'm like, what the heck? 
Um, my favorite song on here is Sad Girl, but I don't regret buying this. I looked for many, many months before I found this, and I don't think this is an overhyped album. I just think it's really just that good. The first Lana album I bought was Born to Die, and it is the Red Pressing, and this is not a bad album. Like, for a debut, this is phenomenal, and I love every single song on here. My favorite is probably Blue Jeans. Um, sorry, my cat is playing with my hair, so just disregard that. And then I talk about this all the time. This is my most, like, this is my cheapest record. This is the Paradise EP. It was $12 from Target, and I bought it so I could listen to Cola on vinyl. All right, so now we have my Fleetwood Mac collection, which I would like to grow, but it's fine for now. So we have Tango in the Night. I bought this on Amazon Standard Black. My favorite song on here is Seven Wonders but I bought it specifically so I could hear Big Love because the greatest hits one that I have, Big Love is not on there. So that is a fun story about um, that one. This is a super underrated album. This is my favorite cover. Um, this is Say You Will. And yes, it's my favorite cover because Stevie and Lindsay are on it together. If you know, you know. Just standard black. I don't have any colored Fleetwood pressings, but my favorite song on here is Thrown Down. It was a toss up between Thrown Down and um, Destiny Rules, but Thrown Down. So this is The Greatest Hits, and my best friend actually has this record. Like, every person I know has this record, and the next one I'm going to show you um, that collects records. But anyway, um, my favorite song on here is actually my favorite Fleetwood Mac song of all time, and it is Sarah, and that song is the most beautiful, like, Fleetwood Mac song. That is in, like, my top five favorite literal songs of all time, so... That record's pretty important. This is a staple. If you collect records, you need to own this. I do not care if you like it or not. But if you don't like it, what are you doing? It's rumors. Um, this my parents actually bought for me. They were shopping at a record store, I think, and they saw it and I didn't have it. So this was actually one of my first records as well. Um, my favorite song on here... And my favorite song on here is probably Gold Dust Woman. Okay, so next we have, so this artist I have four records from. They have four albums, but they have another, like, record. So it's Halsey, and Halsey has the Room 93 pressing. I don't have that one yet, but I don't know if I'll ever get it. So my Halsey collection is complete enough for me. So I do have, what is this album called? Manic, oh my god. This is the Target Purple. I was supposed to go see Halsey in concert, so I do have this um, on CD as well. I've never, you know, played it because I don't use CDs anymore, but my favorite song in here is 3AM. And then we bought the new one, and I've talked about why I keep this cover instead of the actual, because if I have family come over and they're like, let's spin some records, I don't want them seeing the cover of this one. I do wish I got the Urban Outfitters one, but it's fine. My favorite song on here is Lilith. Then we've got Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, and it is my one and only splatter pressing. I bought this with Lana's NFR off of Mercari. I definitely overpaid for both of those, but it's fine. We're not going to talk about it. Um, my favorite song on here is 100 Letters. And my last Halsey album is one I bought at Target. This is Badlands, and it is pink. I think that's the only Badlands. There might be another one. I don't know. Um, my favorite song on here is... I had to, like, really think about this. Um, it's Roman Holiday. All right, so next we have an artist who I said I saw earlier when I talked about Carly Pierce. I got to see Jason Aldean front row um, for um, the Ride All Night tour. I think that's what it was. Um, this is Rearview Town. Rearview Town, excuse me. It is blue. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's blue. Um, this is my favorite Jason album. I he is my favorite male artist of all time as you can tell my collection is predominantly female artists and no that doesn't mean like I don't like male artists I just you know um they can't all be Jason Aldean and The Weeknd who fun fact I don't have any of Abel's records and that's my fault because I just haven't I really want House of Balloons but I'm not gonna pay that much but anyway um this is my favorite Jason album. 
so my favorite song on here is dirt to dust it is the opening track but um i think sentimentally it's getting warmed up because that is the song that he high-fived me to when i saw him in concert <laughs> so um so this next one is my only other jason record and i have to display this differently in the sleeves because of how freaking massive this thing is so it is the um make em in georgia like double lp so i did get it from walmart and it's freaking ginormous my favorite song on here is over you again i think that is my favorite jason song of all time this also has the if i didn't love you duet with carrie so i this album is so large um but anyway now we're getting to taylor and she is the last artist so you guys know taylor is my favorite like artist ever nothing can compare she's amazing so let me tell you a little story quickly i have debut fearless speak now and red all on cd and then i don't own a single copy of 1989 on cd or vinyl i know but to make up for that i do have the 1989 like tour shirt because that's the tour i went to so don't worry i am probably just gonna wait for the re-record but the rest of the albums i do have on vinyl so this is fearless taylor's version and my great aunt got this for me as a christmas gift and actually wait i have to tell you my favorite song on here oh it's tell me why even with the vault tracks it's tell me why it's always going to be tell me why um my great aunt got to me speak now this because on that side of the family all the adults do like a christmas drawing and she got me like two years in a row and i'm always like okay well taylor swift final perfect my favorite song on here is Enchanted. Um, I think Dear John is definitely a close second, especially now after Would Have, Could Have, Should Have. Um, okay, so this is Red Stolen Version. I bought this on Amazon, um, obviously way before the best album to ever exist came out. But um, my favorite song on here, I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. It is still the regular All Too Well. Um, and then we have, okay, this every time I tell this story it makes me upset so this is red tv I ordered it from target but I for some reason didn't order the target pressing so my cousin has the red version and I have the black one yes my favorite song on here is one million percent the 10 minute version it's never gonna change that's my favorite song of all time um this is reputation which she can now legally re-record and it is picture disc not the orange pressing my mom and dad got this for me for Christmas a couple years ago my favorite song on here is dress this is lover and it is the split pink and blue i of course have the pink disc showing i bought this from target my favorite song on here is cruel summer of course and we have the meet me behind the mall web store cover of folklore and i kind of got upset because this is the target cover as well but it's fine um, I do like this color better and it fits way better than um, just having a random red record. Um, my favorite song on here is Illicit Affairs. And then we have Evermore. I got this from the web store as well. It is red one. Um, my favorite song on here is Tolerate It. And this is still my favorite Taylor album. I don't know if that's going to change anytime soon because of a specific album that I'm sure you all are very well aware of, and that is Midnight's. So we still don't have the 3 a.m. version on vinyl yet, but hopefully we will be getting it. This is the mahogany pressing and the cover. My favorite song on here is Maroon. I freaking love that song. It is absolutely amazing and you can never change my mind. So with all that being said, that is my updated vinyl collection for November 2022. Let me know what your favorite record in my collection is and if there are any other awesome artists you think I should check out. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell to know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye everybody!